from gold uh, to diamonds. Shares in Petro Diamonds are higher. The firm posted a record full year net profit, net profit of just over $70 million. The results were boosted by the sale of the 507 carat Cullinan Heritage Diamond and a rebound in gem prices. Let's get more with Johan Dippenau, the CEO of uh, Petro Diamonds. Johan, nice to see you. Congratulations on the, on the figures. Um, this, we were talking about sort of the outlook for gold prices. What, what is, uh, I mean, diamond mining companies had a very difficult time. All commodities companies had a difficult time in 2009. What's happening with diamond prices right now? Yeah, we, we've seen uh, diamond prices uh, come down very severely towards the end of 2008. But from the end of last year till June this year, we've seen a very, very nice steady recovery of prices. We probably got 10 to 15 percent to go to get to the highs we saw in 2008. So in many respects, diamond prices have recovered as well as any other uh, commodity. What now about? we expect to see mm. firmness in the market, some consolidation in these prices. Uh, what's, what's happened with su supply? We, uh, uh, I mean, there's, there's talk in your results about a supply gap. Yeah. Uh, well, the major diamond mines in the world, these uh, ore bodies that, that these companies mine are pipe-like ore bodies. They go small in depth, difficult to keep up those levels of production. So we see uh, no major new uh, discoveries of diamond deposits. So we see a, uh, a, a shortfall in supply in the years to come. Johan, how important is uh, demand from China going to be for the diamond market? Oh, extremely important. And that's been a great place for us to be. We've seen from China, all the growth coming from China, two of our most important stones, the Cullinan, Cullinan Heritage, a $10 million blue stone, all bought by Chinese buyers. So they're becoming a very com important component of our market. What's the most important thing, John, in your view, for, for diamond miners? Well, I, I think it's, it's very important to maintain you know, the, the integrity of the, the mining business mm -hmm. and the mine and to, to make sure that they're not smashing the big stones as they go through the, the processing plants. So, Petra certainly has done very well with the way it's developed its mines and put improvements in place. And there is new technology and, and new techniques in the mining industry that, that make diamond recovery better than it was. Yeah, is that, is that I mean, is, is there been a diamond, actually, although we know that diamond is there, how much at risk have you been in the past of sort of breaking the things that you were looking for? Oh, yeah. Look, that's one of the strong points of our company that we've mm -hmm. always put out in the market is that you, you must understand what is that size and value distribution in your diamond population. Mm -hmm. You must make sure you recover the full spectrum from your deposit, and that's certainly we've been very successful with that. What, what's the new technology that John's talking about? That's no, you, you have nowadays you have X-ray uh, and laser recovery, optical recovery methods. Uh, you also have a various array of crushing systems that you don't uh, have to crush the ore as aggressively as in the past. Am I right in saying, Johan, that uh, Petra is still an aim-listed company? That's correct. Is there any likelihood that you might move to a full listing so that people could perhaps, you know, buy your shares and put it into uh, stocks and shares ISA? Yeah, yeah. We, we certainly uh, told the market that that would be a natural progression for us. Uh, looking at our revenues now, $200 million, growing to $500 million, profits $70 million, we certainly uh, that will be a natural progression for our company. Uh, I, I mean, just one thing. I presume the U.S. is, is still a, a incredibly, you know, still an incredibly important market, right, for diamonds. So, what happens if we do have a double dip economic recession? Consumers pulling their belts. I mean, that's got to have an impact, hasn't it? Well, of course, and that's I think uh, maybe uh, that's why diamond stocks have not performed that well over the last three or, f or five months. Uh, there's still s some nervousness about a double recession. We certainly don't see that from our diamond buyers, uh, but that is a concern. Okay, Johan, good to see you. Thanks very much for joining Thank us. You. Johan Dippen, CEO of uh, Petra Diamonds. John, nice to see you again as well. John Meyer, Head of Resources at Fairfax uh, IS. David, a final thought from you as we, as we head towards the autumn. I'm just a little disappointed Johan didn't bring me in some diamond couplings. Well, there was a nice big one on the, on the there was a nice picture of a very large uh, diamond. You have to I'll have to make over. do with a the picture there, yeah. <laughs> I think really.